What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overload here. So this will be the spoiler free review for No Hard Feelings. No Hard Feelings is directed by Gene Stupnitsky who also co-wrote the script along with John Phillips. It's starring Jennifer Lawrence, Andrew Barr Feldman, Laura, Laura Bernati, Natalie Morales, and Matthew Broderick. Now this film is revolving around our central character of Maddie, who is played by Lawrence, a young woman working as an Uber driver in Montauk, New York, or montauk new york is facing bankruptcy after her car is repossessed she accepts an unusual craigslist posting in which her new employers are parents who have noticed that their introverted 19 year old son percy is showing no interest in girls dating or having sex in exchange for a buick regal maddie agrees to become their son's girlfriend date his brains out and help him to join adult life during his last summer before going off to college now no Hard Feelings genuinely shocked me with how well written it was in terms of giving you two characters from completely different sides of the tracks to invest in. Two polar opposites that realize that they have a lot more in common than their social status would allow you to believe. Jennifer Lawrence is incredible as this woman who was down on her luck, coping with the recent loss of her mother and trying to keep the house left to her in good standing. Her co-star Andrew Barr Feldman is equally compelling in his role, a shy, awkward loner who is about to go to Princeton and his parents think think he is going to drown if he doesn't start socializing once these two characters are paired the humor is kicked into overdrive there's a lot of sex jokes a lot of jokes about life in general and some very subtle race jokes which i did appreciate when you can have fun with race and just joke about it and poke fun at all different types of races i do enjoy that sometimes now every bit of dialogue designed to spark laughter or chuckle feels natural and not forced but the age jokes directed at lawrence don't really land all that well for me considering she's really she's not old it just didn't land what this film also succeeds at is offering a serious edge there's a dramatic shift midway that dives into why percy is a loner and why maddie seems determined to stay where she's at without living her life and moving on the hurdles these characters juggle it what is what makes this this movie my kind of comedy sure i love scary movie just as much as the rest of you who know what scary movie is but when i look for another type of comedy no hard feelings is more of the comedy i like to experience when i'm not watching parody films now the writing is also very self-aware about the inappropriate nature of this relationship that many people have had a problem with in the media uh so it pokes fun at itself it's giving enough context to justify maddie's actions as an act of desperation more than anything the life lessons that are subtly placed in this narrative are a great touch too. Parents shouldn't hold on too tight, don't be a jerk, and don't be afraid to move on are just some of the life lessons found within No Hard Feelings. The pacing is rather impeccable, I'd say, with each moment serving its purpose, not lasting too long, and then the film keeps pushing forward. I say it could have been a bit longer, but perhaps that's just me not wanting this movie to end because I really did have a good time with it. Now, every other performance besides our two leads I would say it's solid enough, but again, Lawrence and Feldman, they're carrying this film. Feldman even has moments where it seems like he's trying to outperform Lawrence, where it seems like they're competing for who's the best at their role in this film, which I always love when there's a healthy competition I can sense going on. Um, specifically at the end, when a more aggressive side of Percy comes out, rather than this soft character you've come to know earlier in the movie. There's a cool soundtrack that features Nelly's Hot in here during Lawrence's twerk session that's been teased in the trailer. I'd say No Hard Feelings is my comedy event of the su summer. I don't see myself preferring anything over this as far as comedies go. There might be better movies that are better made, but in terms of personal preference and what I pre would prefer to watch, I think this is my hit of the summer when it comes to the comedic genre again lawrence feldman great job in their roles great chemistry a lot of life lessons about any young kid who's about to shift over into adulthood if there's stuff that you are holding on to you got to let that stuff go you got to move forward and the same thing for any adults that are holding on to things that are stinting your growth as an individual uh but you guys can let me know what you think about this film down in the comment section below i'm going to give this film a solid seven out of ten if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications you never miss a video in the description i'll have links on my social media accounts i am on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video